welcome to this vlog. My name is Georgina. I am the Honest Vocal Coach, but I'm also a psychic and I am obsessed with crochet just at the minute. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to my vlog. I am currently in my shop. It is 10 past 10 and I'm a bit late today because I've been to collect something. Now over the last couple of days, I've been trying to decide what to use for the yarn as yarn shelves. Um, and my sort of one of choice was the Kallax um, cube kind of shelves but I figured out quite quickly that getting them here was going to be an issue the size that I wanted getting them in a car without having to break them all down to nothing and the price of them is quite expensive I think for what I wanted we're talking about £90 now it's not a big deal paying out for new ones but I'm a bit of a recycler I prefer to go for second hand things if I can uh, so I've been looking on Facebook marketplace for the last couple of days couldn't find any that was suitable for me to get from where they were to here then I had a bit of an idea what about the cage type shelving of which I've already got at the back of the shop this type of thing so you click them together and then you put your whatever inside it so i had a good look at amazon and they were priced about 44 pound for what i needed but i am concerned that they might not be strong enough and they might topple because you literally just click them all together and these are not super strong they're not and the last time i moved them the whole thing collapsed which is not ideal but I've just found out that they should be hammered together not uh, clicked together so maybe I didn't click them together strong enough I don't know anyway last night when I was surfing the internet I discovered a set that I wanted that well I thought might be useful in white 12 squares the ones I'd seen on Amazon for £44 for a tenner and I thought right they're still in the box it all wrapped everything I thought let's try that rather than spending the 44 quid and them all fall down I don't feel so bad if the, they don't work with the £10 that I've spent so my morning is going to be putting these things up and taking out those shelves and then putting them into place now my idea is I'm going to draw it on a bit of paper so I can show you is they come in um hang on i'll show you so they come like this so you've got six squares but my idea is because you can adjust it however you want is to you probably can't see on this bit of paper but is put them up so that there's four and four whether that's going to be too much for them and they're just going to fall down in a big heap i don't know but that's what i'm going to try and do in that corner because i really want to get the yarn ordered uh, i'm going to have hayfield yarn because i found a great supplier and it's not going out of um uh out of whatever is fine as uh what i found um, so I'm going to get some of the Hayfield yarn. I'm also going to go with King Cole and get a whole bunch of yarn from them as well. Uh, and it'll go on my Spotify, eBay and also on my TikTok shop. Uh, so I'm now going to get to putting these shelves together. Hopefully I won't be screaming and <laughs> throwing stuff out of the window. And we'll see how I get on. And my hair's going all fluffy. I did it this morning and it's the weather's rubbish today. So it's gone all fluffy and frizzy because of the rain. But never mind. Providing all goes to plan, I have got a singing lesson today between three and four. And then a reading for the partner of the person who's having the singing lesson straight after. I've brought my music stand. I have, fingers crossed, please fingers crossed, oh my God, that I've brought my... Uh, Oh yeah, <laughs> just had a minute then I'm like, oh no, I've got my message cards, oracle cards, I've got my tarot cards, oh, underneath a whole load of yarn, <laughs> surprise, um, I've remembered them, we're good, 
uh, and then tomorrow off i don't know what i'm doing yet we've got a wall still to paint in lizzie's conservatory so we can put the shelves in but we've just found out that the uh, letting company want to come and take photographs for promotion of the house and <laughs> we're like it kind of looks empty and a bit weird and Simon's built some odd shelves here and there so we're going to have to get all that down and sorted ready for next Saturday when they're doing the promo photos. Luckily I'm not there. I'm here next Saturday doing more readings and opening the shop. Um, So that's going to be his sort of panic mode to try and get the house look something like that's proper Yorkshire something like it's a bit like put me on I never knew what that meant it'll put them on it'll put me on put me on for what I have no idea what they're saying so something like means good enough and put me on basically means like so you can't get exactly what you want you'll kind of just have a version of it to put you on to yeah I, I've lived in Yorkshire a long time and I didn't know what put you on was <laughs> but I do know uh, so yeah put put you on and something like um anyway I'm gonna get these shelves out now uh cagey type shelves and hopefully not put the windows through because I'm so irritated by trying to put them together Look how cute this little hammer is. You get a hammer with it with a little metal end. Look at that. And then I've got loads, loads and loads of these. But there's some instructions. Oh, morning. Morning. So as I was saying, just a customer came in collecting some stuff in the reserve yesterday. <laughs> it's got wet. I don't think it was me though, because I didn't get it wet. So the front page gone. Oh no! <laughs> yeah, uh, instructions are gonna be no good. I kind of worked it out how to do it last time anyway, so yeah. So I best write down what we sold. Today we just sold some model kits. Uh, I don't know what the models of where off. I didn't even look at that. Got one of these. Remember these from school, you know, when it changes colour. Haha. <laughs> I want to create more value on my vlog channel for you guys so I have created two membership packages in the basic membership you'll receive loyalty badges emojis priority reply to comments and member shout outs in the standard membership you'll get the perks from the previous level plus early access to new videos a monthly members only live stream plus an extra vlog every single month just for members so if you want to support me and help me build my channel feel free to sign up for those extra perks so i drove all the way over to altos to pick this up this morning let me show you <laughs> i had no idea <laughs> he put on the listing that it was the white cages so maybe he didn't know and he was selling it for his wife or something. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Are they all like this? Oh my God. Yeah, I can't quite believe it. <laughs> oh no. I'm really not sure what to do now. <laughs> I suppose it could still work. It's just gonna be pictures on the side of it. Oh no, I had no idea. But with that said, I've already unboxed everything and we're gonna go through the parts list and then we're gonna get straight into stuff. I'm very confused. <laughs> I'm having to Google it. I'm having to look up like how the hell do you put this together? I have no idea. Because it only has these on this side, but not this side. So are these the doors? Do you think that's the door? This is not what it said on the tin. 
These must be dolls. Good grief. White. Okay. We might be able to uh, fix this. Okay, and these have got the clicker things all round. So maybe they're the doors. Maybe it's not such a disaster after all. <laughs> it's not quite what he said it was. He said it was the cagey ones. Good grief. Right, I'm going to have to use this YouTube organiser thing. YouTube tutorial because I have no idea. So I've had a customer in, she's bought two balls of yarn, some ribbon, uh, some army men and DVD. Unusual mixture in this shop. Uh, I'll show you how far I've got. This is it so far. I've just discovered it's got hanging rails in it. Again, not what I thought it was going to be. But the hanging rails could come in useful because we've got that at the moment so I could do a rearrange with that as well. It's mainly just to put in where the wooden shelves are but we'll see how big it is because there's a lot of squares it's actually working out quite well and I'm assuming that if you want hangers you just put your hanger in like that and don't put that shelf in you know the shelf below it so you can create a hanging space it's really painful on my hands but we're getting there it took me nearly two hours and I'm boiling now. Oh. Right then, so it's about half past one and I finally got round to having my lunch. It's been really busy this morning and I've been really busy, let me show you. So now we've got crochet up on the wall there, crochet section at the top, uh, different sort of sets and things. We've still got antiques down here in the glass cabinets. I have put it together and it's all ready for the wool delivery and next week I've put the um, jumpers and cardies and stuff up there so there's a bit more space down here to hang stuff and uh, I'm really pleased with it when the yarn delivery comes next week I'll get it all put in but I think it looks great I had to move the haberdashery along a bit more because couldn't get to the light switch when I left it in the corner um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with it. Took me two hours to put together though. Ah, oh, good evening. It's now about seven o'clock. It got very busy this afternoon. I did a singing lesson and a reading today. Uh, so I didn't get home until like half past five. Just brushed my hair and doesn't it look shiny and glossy? Alfie is... Uh, having zoomies and he's just been under the sheet on the bed right underneath the sheet and just running about like a nutter looks so funny this just hump kind of moving around the bed anyway I'm upstairs now I've had a really good day I've got some postage to organize and I've got my yarn orders to do it's very exciting oh uh, I've turned out, uh, discovered that King Cole, the yarn chap that came to see me, is probably the most expensive yarn. <laughs> so I'm going to have to do a bit of a mix of some of his and some other because, yeah, it's just going to be really expensive otherwise. Um, I've been working on this. It is a, a top that I hated because it was too big and I had to start again. Um, it's going to be a hexagon cardigan type top um, and yeah all in all today has been a very good day uh, yeah oh hello it is Sunday morning and guess what we're not doing the second hand shops today we've decided to have a day off from the second hand shops and we're doing other things instead and we've got plenty to do to be quite honest with you so far i've had scrambled egg on toast it's now i don't know half past nine ish i'm still in my pajamas um and today i'm going to be hopefully organizing a tutorial for a teddy bear jumper um i'm going to be continuing with the top that i'm doing which is a hexagon top now and not a v-neck like it was originally i just um i've got posts still to organize i tried to do it last night but alfie decided to just sit and bark at me so i took him for a, a thing instead so i didn't actually do the postage um and i've been thinking over tiktok again this morning 
um, at the moment I just post my um, reaction clips uh, and that's kind of what gets me the numbers but do you know what I'd really like oh sorry my computer's having a moment I kind of don't see the point in worrying so much about it and posting the odd crochet thing what I'm working on or when I've got new yarn in or something like that um, I do think about having a new TikTok but that kind of didn't work the last time I did it when I had a Honest Vocal Coach one and then a Spirit one and people were just like it, it's you it didn't really make any difference whether the username was Spirit or Honest Vocal Coach because it's still me um, so I thought, you know what, I'll just post the odd one when I feel like it. Stop stressing about it. It's not going to make any difference, as in people are going to unfollow me just because I add a little bit of crochet. And it tends to be, if people like me, then they'll watch most of my content anyway. So I've got to stop overthinking, because I've been doing it a lot the last few days. Um, I'll go, oh, I could try it, do that, no. I could try it like that, no. I've been like that for like a while and it's it's getting really frustrating that I'm constantly nap, 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 nap. Why am I just stopping all of these ideas? Something's got to work or something's got to be nice to, to sort of explore. I gotta stop myself stopping. Um, I had a really nice uh, singing lesson yesterday with Alex and uh, Aaron with a reading. Um, and he bought a bracelet, a hat, a scarf and some gloves. So that means I'm going to need to make some more. What a shame. <laughs> I enjoy making them, so that's all good. Just got to decide what colours and things I'm going to be using. I put in my yarn order last night, ready for the shop. And I did spend more than I was supposed to spend. And it wasn't with King Cole. Turns out King Cole yarn is really expensive. Really expensive. What I even did, which I'm really like excited about, because I'm not very good with diagrams. My to scale is never to scale. I did a drawing of the shelves and then measured them and broke down exactly how much yarn you can get in each square. Now each square you can get two rows of yarn. So you could essentially have four colours or four types lined up because you get 10 so 12 in most packs but because it's expensive to, to get that first big order in I've decided to split it into two so you've got one square with two colours or two yarns uh, and then at the bottom I've decided to split it into four and four for those bottom two um, because I thought it would be nice for that bottom section. Um, the bottom ones is Pebble, which is a fantastic yarn, uh, which is a nice version of the King Cole Hedgerow without being so blooming expensive. Uh, it's like four quid cheaper. So, you know, if you're buying a chunk of it, you know, I don't know, six balls for a jumper you're making, it makes for a very expensive jumper. I spent £44 on the yarn when I was away to make a jumper. That's an expensive jumper when you think about it in the end. You know, we're probably not charging people enough when we sell these things to cover all of these costs. But this is going to be a jumper for me anyway, so it's, it's not a big issue. So, I suppose I should really get dressed uh, and I shall get cracking. I'm going to write a list of what I want to achieve today, otherwise I'll end up with everything all at once um i've got to put my invisalign back in um what else i want to work on this but i also want to have uh some more scarves and hats for the shop i've kind of got a to-do list on my computer let's see what we've got we've got jade's performance on jules holland make more crochet bags teddy jumper tutorial do the postage which i tried to do last night make more scarves and hats i've got a cameo to do and i've got a photo reading to do so i think we'll just work our way through it right so i've arrived at lizzie's i brought some shelves i'm doing a yarn changeover i'm a bit out of breath today so i'm not going to be going nuts look liz did another coat on the walls it looks all right, doesn't it? It's not perfection, but it was never going to be perfection because they're old walls. Eh? 
No, I didn't mean you crap. I mean, it's not perfection as the walls are not perfection. So we're basically trying to make good of something that's not great. So Liz is not crap, just so you know. So there we are. These are the shelves from the shop. I brought them over. Because they're in the car anyway. We're going to have more shelves here. Big sort of square cuby shelves. And then all this is going to need sorting after that. I don't know if we're doing it today because I'm a bit out of puff. It seems I'm having an out of puff day today. So I think I'm going to be focusing on yarny jobs. Um, and sort of bits and pieces depending on how I get on. But that's great, that. That's really good. And my spider plant from the bathroom. And it's got frogs in it, look. Oh, frog upside down. Let's put the frog back the right way. There we are. So I'm now sat, it's, uh, how is it? Quarter to three already. It's quarter to three. I started to knit on the said knitting machine, a hat and a scarf, a really beautiful purple color. this colour and it's too thick and it kept dropping all the stitches so I'm going to be using it for something else I had to pull it back out again darn it uh, and my head's on proper overload overthinking it's going all the time thinking what should I be doing what should I be achieving should I be selling things should I be promoting should I be doing a live should I be it's just so I did a little bit of an Instagram live, but it kept throwing me out. I think there was a problem with Instagram, so that didn't go so well. Uh, and I am currently making, which I may have already said, one of the purposes of getting the yarn from Liz's is a Dorothy bag. I have made them in the past, but I've only got one left in the shop. They've all sold. So I thought I'd make a new one. Now trying to find the right colours to put together was quite tricky because... I don't have a lot of chunky yarn in one particular brand and what I have discovered, very much like clothing, is that even though it says it's chunky, it's not necessarily. That lovely purple yarn supposed to be Aran. It's kind of like a style craft chunky, if I'm honest. So it's a bit like... This lovely grey that I'm using, I would say is super chunky, but then the orange is probably chunky it's like yeah so I didn't have enough of any one brand to sort of create a bag with it so what I have done is I've put together this gorgeous grey that I've had for a little while which is a certain percent wool and then an orange to interlink with it because I didn't want it to be just one colour I thought I would mix it up and I want sort of autumny beautiful colours like this one that I'm working on which is just the most wonderful autumny colours so this is where I'm up to so far and I think it's a great uh, pattern to make a hat a nice crochet hat I'll show you what I mean now obviously not the colours I don't think it works in the colours that it is but it makes the most beautiful little hat. So I think I'll make some more with this pattern. Hats. Uh, needs probably another ring on it. But it is a Dorothy bag. Uh, and a Dorothy bag is basically a round, flat bottom, round bag. It comes in and then out again and you have two straps. Um, I've made many of them before. And I think the colours are coming out lovely. Look at that. It's really pretty. Although the orange is ever so slightly thinner than the grey, it's still creating this really nice look. Uh, and because I've only got one ball of orange, I'm just doing one line, one strip, um, and four of the lovely grey, which is just really nice texture. Uh, and I've got four, five of these. So this is the first one. So I could probably make a few if I'm honest. Um, so I'm working on that and I'm trying not to overthink. Uh, it's Sunday, should be taking the day off, but I can't do that. That's not something I do. So I've been thinking of all sorts of things. Um, I think it might have been Luke on my Instagram. He had a few ideas. Uh, Aaron, when he was in the shop yesterday, had a few ideas. 
Uh, Maths actually suggested one of the ideas that Aaron said when he was in the shop yesterday, which I thought was pretty cool. So there must be something in it if two people separately have said this idea. They've come up with the honest group. So there's like honest crochet, honest psychic, honest, ooh, honest vocal coach, honest, bless you, honest reviews and so on like an honest group which I think is quite a nice idea uh, and I tend to stress myself out about things that I put online especially certain platforms like Instagram has become more a bit crochet but I still like to put the reels of my reactions on there because that's the thing that gets me the numbers but then is numbers matter as much then with TikTok it's definitely the reactions that gets me the numbers but I really like doing the lives on TikTok which I'd like to do more of I used to do a lot of ASMR lives and a lot of psychic reading lives and it's just kind of dropped off so I need to get my mojo back and get a plan of action because I used to have a proper structure routines in place for all these things and some of the routines have just disappeared um, I want to make sure I do two reaction videos a week, but copyright's causing an issue for that. Two vlogs a week. Um, it'd be great if I could do a tutorial a week. And I think that's doable, to be honest. I'm sure I could figure that out. I'd like to do a live on this channel once a week. It's literally, I need to force myself to sit down and go, right, what we're doing on what days, get a grip, get your routine back. So I need to sit down and do that, really. But at this current moment, I'm literally overthinking all of it. Like, what am I supposed to be doing? So, yeah. <laughs> so there we are. Isn't it so cute? Oh, my God. And, yeah, it could be a hat. I'm not sure on the colours for a hat, though. Um, but, yeah, it's a really nice, easy pattern to do. So... I'll have to do this one as a tutorial. So yeah, come on, Georgina, get a focus. And let, let's, I tell you what, let me get a bit of paper. A bit of paper. That was the worst accent ever. A bit of paper. Oh, and cowls. I was watching a video earlier. Uh, and she said, make cowls. And I thought, oh God, that's so easy. It's just a, a circle, basically. You just crochet it down the middle. And then you've got this beautiful cowl. Yes. That's on my list. Right, so let's get some... We're doing a lot of writing down this vlog, aren't we? So tutorials, what haven't I done? So we haven't done the fingerless gloves yet. Or hand warmers. Right, so we've got that. We also haven't done the... Uh, I forgot what the proper word is. With the knitting machine. Is it latch on and off? latch on <laughs> it sounds more like breastfeeding it's not latch on at all oh god what is it somebody tell me in the comments <laughs> it's gone Pew. right so we got fingerless gloves hand warmers latch on latch off <laughs> a scarf a hat on the knitting machine what else we've done the pumpkin tutorial i've got the teddy tutorial to do teddy jumper that we can do as well let's do one of these uh crochet hat stroke dorothy bag dorothy bag you see i've got loads i could be getting on with right so that's the tutorials written down now let's have a look at routines so if we go two reactions a week Two vlogs a week, one live on vlog channel, so probably like a crystally shop type of live or a chat, right? Then what about for TikTok? See, I still haven't figured out TikTok. <laughs> Think I need to be focusing on this channel though. And just continue to just put up my reaction content really. Yeah. So leave 
TikTok for now. This is helpful, you know. If you write it down, it gets all the mess out of your head, which is just bleh. So I'll leave TikTok for now. Instagram, I just post what I fancy posting, really. Normally what I've made. Um, what I've made. What else? Teaching, obviously, I'm teaching every week. So I teach Monday, Tuesday and Thursday. I'm in the shop Wednesday, Friday and if there's readings a Saturday. You see that looks better already. What about a tutorial? Try and add a tutorial per week. One tutorial per week. It's a bit more work, but we could figure that out. Two reactions I'm doing already. Two vlogs I'm doing already. One live, I'm not trying hard enough. I need to get that sorted. And then a tutorial a week. Yeah, so hopefully, out of my head now, that will make everything just that little bit easier. Uh, so I'll plan my, my week out now. I'll get my calendar of when I'm going to do these things. It's now three o'clock. I'm going to finish this Dorothy bag stroke hat. <laughs> She's so cute. I really like it. Um, and then go from there, really. Yeah. Okay, so it's coming along really well. I'm managing to do this in a day. And so now at the point where you have to decrease, decrease, Oh, I'm now at the point where you have to decrease. So I'm decreasing in and then I'm going to do orange and it's basically just a sort of frill, if you like, at the top. We then put chain in there so we've got a drawstring and then we make the straps. Obviously, it's not going to fit as a hat anymore. There we are. We've got the drawstring now on the bag. So you can pull it nice and tight ribbon it at the top and now I just have to work on a strap. Right, it's now half past six. We've had our Chinese food. I need to put my Invisalign back in. I'm now working on the strap to go with the Dorothy bag. I haven't got far. Strap takes quite a while because it's, uh, yeah, takes a while. <laughs> so I'm just having a break from that because it's just, uh, yeah, I've been doing it most of the afternoon so I just need a break from that one so uh, tomorrow I am doing reaction videos and singing teaching and stuff like that so as always I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who watches my vlog also to those who are members of this vlog thank you very much for supporting me there's been no new members as recently um, but at the moment we've got 26. There will be a members only vlog coming out very soon. And my next vlog will be Wednesday. Bye loves.